Uh, welcome to this video and a comparison between the Huawei Mate 40 Pro versus the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and not in terms of cameras. What we want to check out is the processor inside here, the Kiri 9000, the last 5G uh, produced by TSMC for Huawei and the Kiri 9000S, the new probably by Huawei himself produced chip that also features 5G. So we start off with the, first of all, better fingerprint placement here for the fingerprint sensor. But here we can see the Geekbench 6 results uh, of those two. And as you can see here, quite interesting because we have almost the same kind of single score, core, score, uh, core score, actually 1310 versus 1314, but multi-score is a little bit better here on the new Kirin 9000S. As you can see here, 3962 on the uh, Mate 40 Pro and the Mate 60 Pro is 4033. So they are very, very comparable, those Kirin chips here. Quite interesting in Indeed. Uh, so these are the benchmark results. All the other benchmark results are basically the same. There's not much of a difference there. You can check out the ranking here of various different devices. As you can see here, my device is a little bit better than the average Huawei Mate 40 Pro, maybe because I'm running it in performance mode to test it. I also ran it in performance mode on the Mate 60 Pro. And as you can see here against the, the top here, this is a Mate 40 Pro Plus. As you can see, I'm my device is a bit better than the Mate 40 Pro Plus. Uh, against uh, the competition here, Galaxy X23 Ultra is uh, beating the Mate 60 Pro, for example. And uh, my Mate 60 Pro is 1300. So we are going into this territory of Google uh, Pixel 7, mm, roughly, uh, and 6a. And uh, yeah, also the Huawei P50 Pro, interestingly enough, with the Kirin 9000 is also a little bit slower there than the 5G version that I have here on the Mate 40 Pro, which is quite interesting. I'm not sure why they're showing different rankings, but probably they are like showing the rankings of devices that are very, very close here. And you can see yeah, it's beating the Pixel 6a and uh, definitely beating the S21, Poco F3 and such devices as well. So let's check out some other things. Let's close up all applications here and let's go and check some opening times of applications to see do we have a real world difference between those two. And we want to do this by going into several apps like for example the app gallery 3, 2 and 1. As you can see it load a bit quicker on the Mate 60 Pro. I think it has the loading times have not nothing much to do with the processor alone but also the speed of the ram and the speed of the internal uh, devices and here i have the mate 40 pro with the international version so it has i think ufs as internal storage uh, and we have also i think ufs here on about a faster version on the mate 60 pro so this could explain some of those speed differences Let's go and start off uh, F-Droid, one, two, three. And pretty similar as you can see here. Just this one is refreshing, that's the only difference. And if you hear something in the background, that's Timmy begging for food. And yeah, he ate enough already, I think. Uh, now let's start Antenna Pod, one, two, three. And I think also pretty much on par, not much of a difference. So what you can see here is that even though this one here, the Mate 60 Pro is a lot younger than the Mate 40 Pro in terms of speed and everyday usage, the Mate 40 Pro with the brand new Harmony OS can still be used nowadays because it's like in terms of everyday speed and usage probably equal to the Mate 60 Pro when it comes to this. Let's start up some cloud things like for example, let's start next cloud, one, two, three. And you can see also basically on par, not much of a difference there. Let's do some uh, face unlocking maybe. So let's put my face there. And I think also both on the same time. Look at the little wrench icon there. Yeah, now I think maybe a bit quicker on the Mate 60 Pro. But now nah, they're basically the same. Very, very similar when it comes to this. 
And let's open up Reddit. One, two, three. And now a bit quicker here on the Mate 60 Pro because it's loading a little bit faster there. So I think the internet speed is also a bit faster on the Mate 60 Pro Wi-Fi, I mean, than on the Mate 40 Pro. Uh, so this is what we can see here. Uh, I will prepare a video for rendering to test out how video rendering times are here. So uh, let's check this out. So here we have KineMaster on the Mate 60 Pro on the top and the Mate 50, uh, Mate 40 Pro actually on the bottom. We are loading the same kind of project. Uh, one, two, three. And you can see basically on the same time they are loading here. Let's export them as yes. 4K. And we want to have 30 frames per second by both. And let's hit the export button. One, two, three. There we can see that I think the older Mate 40 Pro takes the lead here. And it's a bit quicker than the newer Mate 60 Pro. Quite interesting, isn't it? So this one is almost finished. And this one still takes a, a bit. Very surprising result for me for the video rendering test. But it shows that the older Kirin processor was very, very powerful already. And the newer one has some issues regarding those newer kind of tech. And it's finished now. So almost like double the time uh, that the Mate 40 Pro used up here. Quite interesting. What is your experience so far if you have a Kirin 9000 device? Is it slower than the older Kirin 9000? What do you think? Uh, generally speaking, those two devices are pretty, pretty fast indeed. I'm surprised that the newer device is not really outperforming the older device here. And it shows how good the old device is, but that shows also that how deep in trouble Huawei is, even with its new Kirin chip. They are struggling. It's, it's great that they got up to the performance that they had a few years back. But it's not enough to compete against the, the newer high-end classes. So in general, both very, very fast here, I would say. But it shows that the Kiri 9000S on the Mate 60 Pro is still something that lets uh, something in terms of speed to be desired. As a normal everyday phone, of course, just like the Mate 40 Pro is still usable in 2024. The Mate 60 Pro is no slouch either. It's also very, very usable with all its new features, especially uh, what you saw already that Wi-Fi is much quicker here. And it supports more Wi-Fi speeds. In terms of other things like thickness, for example, and battery life, the Mate 60 Pro is a bit better than the Mate 40 Pro. So the display, I would say, is much better there. And not talking about the cameras here, the Mate 60 Pro is a clear winner against the Mate 40 Pro as well in most aspects. Mm, so that alone, I would choose the Mate 60 Pro. But if you have a Mate 40 Pro, um, there's no real reason to upgrade for just speed benefits. There are other things, like I said, cameras, display, maybe also the speakers a little bit, and of course, thickness of the device as well. Yeah, of course, this one has a case on, but still, um, yeah, which one do you prefer here? The, my all-time favorite is definitely the Mate 40 Pro. I like this design. Also, the cameras were very, very cool back in the day. And I'm surprised how good it is still nowadays and how good it com can compete against the newer Mate 60 Pro in terms of raw po processing power. What is your opinion? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for the short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.